How's it going guys? It's the Pixelate Pumpkin and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be going over my top 5 props I would love to see return for Flashback Friday. Now before we get into it, I'm going to need you guys to like and subscribe, helps out the channel a ton, and with all that out of the way, let me explain this video a little bit. So basically, for every prompt, I'll just be going over my reasons why I think it should come back, why Spirit would probably be a wise decision to bring it back, and my personal opinion on the prompt and why I want it back. So that's pretty much this whole video, so I guess without any, hesi any more hesitation, let's get right into it. Number 5. Coming in at the number 5 spot is Pumpkin Patch Prowler. Now I'm sure a lot of you are saying, wait, he's only from 2018, why would Spirit bring him back already? Now yes, I do understand that he is a very new prop, only being from a few years ago, and he was um, online only in 2019, so he's only around like, it's been 2 years since he hasn't been sold. But I do think that, like, maybe not this year, but a few years from now, he could definitely come back if there's another farm themes or spirit. Now, I don't really want to flashback Friday saying, like, that they remake the prop completely. I think a return for this guy would just be cool. He definitely is one of my favorite props of all time, and I do think he was a good seller when he was at Spirit. Um, I definitely see how he is appealing to a lot of people, him being a pumpkin head monster and all. And I just think it would be very good for Spirit to bring him back, and I think the fans would definitely be happy with his return. Um, I definitely know I would purchase him if he ever returns. So yeah, that's my reasoning for him being back, even though he's only from 2018. Well, without further ado, let's continue on. Number four. Coming in at the number four spot is the highly underrated Chester the Jester. Now, I absolutely think this could make a perfect flashback Friday. Um, they definitely could add and change a few things about him, maybe improve some stuff. And I think him being brought back, if he's put in stores this time, there could be a lot new Chester the Jester fans. Um, not many people care for this prop since he wasn't very popular when he was first released um, in 2015, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he was an online only. So really not many people, like hardcore spirit fans, of course, know about this prop. But like more like younger fans and a few other people who are still fans of spirit don't really know about this prop too well. They de they've probably seen it before, but I think if he's brought back, this prop could be given a second chance at life and definitely um, made a lot better and more people would like him. Um, personally, I love Chester the Jester. If you watch my clown ranking videos, I'm pretty sure he, he definitely came in the top five, but I forget where. Um, but he is definitely a great candidate for a flashback Friday. Number three. Coming in at number three is Smoldering Zombie. Now, this is another one of the props that I really don't think needs much change about it if it were to come back. I absolutely love this guy as he is. Um, the fog effects are amazing on this. It actually looks like there is steam coming off of him, which I think they managed to pull that off so good. Um, if he does come back, it would be nice to see a little bit more detail in the clothes and maybe like maybe more fluent animation. Um, but overall, I absolutely love this guy. The lights are perfect, and he would definitely be a really cool one to see return. Um, I'm sure he would get a lot more sales than he did have um, originally. I bet a lot more people would buy him. Um, I know there already is a lot of people who bought him, and I know he is a really good seller. He is my favorite zombie prop of all time. Um, but I would definitely love to see him come back, and he could definitely be one I would pick up if he does come back. Um, as for stuff they could change, maybe mouth movement would actually be pretty cool, but I don't know how well the lighting effects would work if they were to make a latex mouth, but, or a latex face, but who says they have to? I mean, they could go the Pan-Asian creation route and just use, like, a plastic mouth, but it may, um, ruin the realisticness of it a little bit, but it would be cool to have, like, a moving mouth. And maybe more animation would be nice, too. Um, his side-to-side -side movement, there's really nothing wrong. But maybe they could add, like, the sprint, the head on a spring, like, um, the smoldering groundbreaker has, like, his groundbreaker variant. Um, I think that would be really cool just to add a little bit more to him. But overall, I would definitely absolutely love to see Smoldering Zombie make a return. Number two. At our number two spot is the Howler. Now, the Howler is a critically underrated prop, in my opinion. I just don't think there's enough love for him in the community. And he is kind of outshadowed by um, Demonica, which is another prop in the series of the... Of, there's three props in the series that this guy is a part of. They all have the same animation and, like, similar look to them. Demonica being the vampire one, which is a vampire girl, which... There's nothing wrong with her. I just think the Howler is better and Damien, which is a zombie, which I think is probably the most looked over out of all of them. Um, 
but the Howler, I think, is a very underrated prop. It's probably my favorite werewolf prop of all time. Um, I just think there's just something really cool about it. I love the howling he makes. I love his animation. There's just something so great about this guy. Um, if they, if they, if he did get brought back, I think they could change up a little bit with him. Probably Techie would make him more durable. Um, the quality ha of Techie, I mean, I think it's gotten better over the years, obviously, with new technologies and stuff. Um, it's probably easier to make him now than it was back then. And it could be a lot more durable since I think, I think in the series of these guys, the three of them, I think their, um, build quality wasn't that good back then. But, um... I definitely think there's a lot of improvements that they could make with him, even though he's a very good prop as it is. Maybe more blood on the mouth and clothes, that could be nice. Um, maybe his claws could be a little bit bigger. And overall, I just think he is a great prop. The detail is in the face is there. And if they did bring him back, they could change up a little bit too. Maybe um, a new variant with like a different color fur could be cool. I like the f color fur it is, is now, but I definitely think there could be a few um, changes with him that um, would make him look better than he already does. So without further ado, I finally say it's time to get on to our number one spot. Number one. The farmer in the dell is going straight to hell. <laughs> and to no one's surprise, our number one spot is Barnyard Butcher. Now, as I said many, many times, Barnyard Butcher is my favorite Halloween prop of all time. From any company, from anywhere, Barnyard Butcher is my favorite. And I don't have him. So, obviously, I want him to come back so I can buy him. But, nonetheless, he is a terrific prop. One of the best ever made from Spirit. It, he's my personal favorite of all time. Um, I would love to see him come back. And I know he has been one of, uh, besides Wacky Mole and Grinning Gertrude, I think... Barnyard Butcher is probably the most requested prop to come back. I even did a poll a few weeks ago on my YouTube channel. Um, you can go to my com community tab and check that out. But um, Barnyard Butcher was actually um, out of like probably like 60 something votes. Barnyard Butcher was voted to be number one to for people to want him return. So even more than Wacky Mole, which is honestly baffling to me. Just shows how many people love this guy and how he needs to return. Now, if you want to know what I would change about him, be sure to check out my um, video on that. I made a dedicated video all the way all for that um, as my new series. Um, but in all honesty, I would just want him to come back the way he is. Maybe, obviously, with some improvements to the quality and stuff. Um, but other than that, he is just, like, perfect the way he is. And I would die to have him come back. Um, I know there are a ton of people who want him. So, Spirit, if you're watching, please make this happen. Um, he is just a fantastic prop. And I could just not say enough about him. Um, now, there are a few things that, like... I think they should definitely fix that i'll just mention here real quick number one being the quality um i think back then obviously the poles and stuff were fine like i think the quality still holds up to this day but there could definitely be some improvements there um and probably the quality of um the audio too i think it was good back then um in 2014 but it definitely could the speaker quality could be improved um, and overall, I just absolutely love this guy, and I think most people just want him to come back already. So please, Spirit, bring him back. And that's going to probably be it for this list, so let's head to the outro. Well, everyone, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching another video. Um, remember, like and subscribe. That helps out the channel a ton. And hey, I have merch now, so go look at it in the link in the description. I always forget to plug it, so now I'm going to start kind of doing that some more at the end of videos. Um, make sure you let me know which was your favorite prop or which prop you would love to see return for Flashback Friday. Um, I definitely hope you guys like my picks. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for a few of these props to come back on the list, but some of them are more unique and my personal ones. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, this is the Big Slay Pumpkin, signing out.